Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? Uh, today we're going to be installing a flagpole. So these are a few things you're going to need. I bought some uh, a bag of cement. I actually bought two of them, but I just brought one out. Little bucket. You can see I've used it before for cement, so I kind of dedicate that bucket for mixing cement. A plastic tube. Now this one came with a flagpole that I uh, purchased. Actually, I would say I got it for a Christmas gift, so I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, but if you are building a flagpole from scratch, you can just go to your local hardware store, or if this one breaks, you can go ahead and buy a PVC piping from your hardware store. Make sure it's just slightly bigger than your flagpole. Don't want too much room in there. Then we got a drill. This is designed to dig holes in the ground for help with gardening and stuff like that. But you can see I've used it for cement. We got a level, post hole digger, tape measure. We got that little putty knife. I don't think I'll need that. That's just to help work up the bottom. And the reason why I don't think I'll need that is because I'm gonna use my flathead shovel. But if for some reason you don't have a flathead shovel, you can use one of those. And then we got our uh, big shovel. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, here's the front of my yard. You can see I live out in the country. I will say, uh, make sure you don't have no electrical wires, gas lines, any of that stuff. And I'm gonna plant my, or install it in my front yard. And I'm gonna line it up with my front door right here. It won't be lined up with my mailbox, but I'd rather it be lined up with the house instead of the front door. So that is what we're gonna be doing. All right, as you can see, we're making good progress. I started off with the post hole diggers, switched over to the shovel. I'll probably dig a little bit more with the post hole diggers and I'll probably end up using both bags of cement you don't have to go down too deep but just deep enough so the pole sticks out of the ground a little bit and I'm going to have the cement sit, uh, excuse me, just below the grass so that way if you ever need to cover it up or stuff like that you can easily cover it up so it'll be out of the way and they don't have to redig everything and remove everything out of the way all right guys i came up with a additional support this stake here is probably about three foot in length it's a stake that you can find in your garden section and i'm going to nail that in the ground and i'm going to slide this over it and i'm only going to have it go up have this go down it part way and then that way I can cement it in and it'll give it additional support well we're at it so don't know if the camera's picking it up with that there you go that's pretty straight so we'll go ahead and keep on working on it all right now we just went ahead and check the double check the stake after we Nailed it down further. That's what it's looking like. Getting ready to pour the cement in it. We're gonna have it sit a few inches above the grass level. The pole itself, and we're gonna check it periodically to make sure it's level with our leveler. We're gonna, like I said previously, we're gonna have the cement sit just below it so that we can have our grass grow up to it if we want to, or if we don't want grass, going up to it we can go ahead and put a little bit of rocks around it something like that that way we won't have to do as much trimming during the summer months all right we got our cement mixture going in that's our first bag we'll see how much this covers up so far i have not used my drill definitely haven't used the putty so this is where we're at all right i did open the second bag of cement i bought Doing a smaller job like this, it's very inexpensive. So, like I said already, it's a little over $3 a bag 
maybe closer to four, but this is the content that I got. I stuck with the shovel the whole way. I could have used my drill, but a little additional exercise never hurt. So that's what we're looking like right now. I'm getting ready to go pour it in for the flag. All right. See, we're pouring the cement into it. Go ahead and check the level again. I want to make sure you're checking it as you're working on it. There's a truck going by. See, I need to adjust that just a little bit. I'll go ahead and do so. I will say, make sure you drive this into the ground because you don't want this filling up with cement, the inside of it, because that's where your flagpole is going to go. So... I'd hate for someone to go through all that hard work and have that fill up with cement, come out here the next day and look at it. Alright guys, I just went ahead and double checked to make sure that is level. And I'm going to end up using a putty knife after all. Just to smooth everything out. It's not like we're doing a foundation or anything, so it doesn't have to be completely leveled. Now you can go flush to the ground if you'd like. I am not because we're going to probably put rocks or something around here and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave it a little bit below the surface. Or if we don't want rocks, we can have grass grow right up to it. However, we decide to do. But there you have it that's all there is to it so hope that was helpful and i will have additional video to go with this to for the whole entire flagpole my particular one's uh, 16 foot i do believe so stay tuned for that one thank you so much and as always if you haven't already go ahead and hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button button peace out and god bless you youtube land have a wonderful day happy new year to you Hey guys, what's going on? If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Greatly appreciate that. Alright, this is going to be part two. Um, installing a flagpole. I covered it up with a tarp for a couple of days. And this is our end result. Everything's looking really, really good. I did uh, end up using uh, two cement bags. They were 60 pounds a piece. Just use that five gallon bucket, my little shovel to stir it up. So that's what we got with this, and we'll go over and take a look at the flagpole. All right, here's the flagpole. I'll just kind of walk down how everything goes together. This ball here is actually two separate pieces. I went ahead and used some super glue so it would stay together a little bit further, a little bit better. Screws in the back of that. I went ahead and made my knots already. Just use a tape measure for my flag. These slide in together here. So you got one, two, three, four, and five. The last one here is where your string wraps around. And it has a little base on the bottom there. I'm going to go ahead and take it a step further and stick uh, self-tapping screws in there. Then we'll go ahead and put the flag up. Alright, we got the self-tapping screws installed. It only took four of them. And I guess if you want to go a step further, you could put one on each side. Just went ahead and stuck those in there. So, that's the size I used. Alright. There's a flag pull up. This particular one is 16 foot. That's one of my puppy dogs barking in the back. We probably did lose a little bit by installing it in the ground over here, but not very much at all. So there's a flag pull. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. Hope that helps some folks out.